I would describe the work that I do as is lots of influence all, all mashed together and one major part is nostalgia. I want people to connect emotionally with it, I want them to remember their own childhoods. I like to think he's got an honesty, there's no pretension to it, it is what it is. I've been creating art since around 24 when I became a cartoonist. After that I went into computer games, then I became a freelance sculptor and then I was a painter and decorator for, for quite a time which I hated with a passion and realised that art for me it wasn't a case of that's how I earn my money, it's what I needed to do and that's when I started painting. The medium I work in is, is oil paint but usually I'll underpaint in acrylic just for speed because it dries so quickly and I, I like to block things out all together so I've got all the colours, all the sort of composition all done in one. I use oils to finish the painting just because of the colours, the acrylics, you can mix a colour to look great but it dries totally different. Oils, you mix it and that's exactly how it's going to stay and I, I just love the consistency of the paint and being able to sort of merge the colours, you know, which, which I personally can't do with acrylics, other better artists can so so I stick with my oils. Children play such a big part in my paintings is because the very first one I did was, was my own childhood memories of imagining I was a Native American at primary school I was convinced I was a um, Cherokee or something turns out I'm not I remember doing the painting with a child with a feather in his hair in, with a background in a cornfield and, and people really took to it and I wanted to, to distill that idea and, and get a sense of that child's imagination and that's how I, I got the shadows in the background. I'm really lucky, I've got a great studio plus its location can't be bettered in my opinion. I live in the middle of nowhere by the woods, uh, I love walking the dogs in there. It's, it's quite bleak for want of a better word but I love bleak. In some ways I think it kind of focuses your mind and my paintings are very different to what I see around me. People would think, oh you're a landscape artist because I'm surrounded by it, you know, I've got some great views. Plus, skulls that I find about and you know, it's just nice collecting things and all, all these things end up in my studio and it's all inspiration all the time. Even though you might not see a skull in a painting, the fact it's there and I can look at it, it sort of keeps my brain sort of ticking over in a very odd sort of way. Art is anything that you can see emotion in, for want of a better word. As much as I can see some paintings and the skill in them is, is you know, is obvious. I have to feel an emotional connection to art and so it doesn't matter if it's a, a sculpture, an installation, whatever, that, that's the key to me, the emotional connection.